You're watching Channel 4, the local station, live with Tom Wills, Mary Bear, the Weather Authority forecast with Chief Meteorologist John Gaughan, sports analysis with Mark Brunel, and breaking news with Sky 4. News 4 Jack continues. Next month of the ceremony in Rome, the Catholic Church will get its first African-American cardinal. The historic appointment was made yesterday by Pope Francis. 73-year-old Wilton Gregory already made history last year as Washington, D.C.'s first ever black archbishop. Archbishop Gregory is known for guiding the church through its clergy sexual abuse crisis in the early 2000s. We bishops will always have the deepest regret for those who's, who for those who were abused and who must live with that pain and all of their lives. No apology can undo that. Yet we must never cease to remember them, reach out to them and ask for their forgiveness. Now Archbishop Gregory is one of 13 to be elevated to the rank of Cardinal. News for Jack's reporter Marilyn Parker spoke with a local priest about the new Cardinal to be. A historical moment for the Catholic Church as Pope Francis named Wilton Gregory America's first black cardinal. Very pastoral, uh, very with the people. Father James Bodie is the pastor of Christ the King Catholic Church in Jacksonville. He says he met the Archbishop some years ago. Father Bodie was the first African American ordained as a priest in the St. Augustine Diocese. It's so important because uh, we recognize the great talents, the great gifts that African-American Catholics have great leadership. Wilton Gregory was the first black archbishop in Washington, D.C., and before that was archbishop in Atlanta. The U.S. Conference of Catholic Bishops says there are 37,000 Catholic priests in America. 250 of them are African-American. There are 3 million African-American Catholics in the United States. Gregory is well known for the way he handled the sex abuse scandals in the church, and more recently, his stance on racial injustices in the country. The level of anxiety and anguish that the church in the United States is experiencing, this has touched him deeply. Gregory led the D.C. Archdiocese's creation of an anti-racism initiative and has fought for inclusive treatment of LGBTQ Catholics. The primary responsibility of a cardinal is to elect a new pope if he were to step down or die. The position is the Catholic Church's highest governing body. Father Bodie says Pope Francis is sending a strong message with putting Gregory in that position. I believe Pope Francis is letting us know that uh, the church calls upon all, all cultures to leadership. African-American Catholics, they have, a, they have a very small percentage of the church, but now uh, this, this elevates it to even a higher level. With this appointment, the Catholic Church will see which direction the Vatican is leading them in. Marilyn Parker, Channel 4, The Local Station. There will be a ceremony to elevate the new cardinal in Rome November 28th because of COVID. It is unclear how the ceremony will be carried out and if some of the bishops may not be able to attend due to travel restrictions.